Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll share with you two very easy and budget-friendly home decor ideas and I'm sure you guys are gonna love them and hope you will try them. Let's go ahead and get started. DIY number one. For this project I'm gonna be using uh, these uh, painter sticks that I got from Lowe's. They come in a package of three I believe uh, for 98 cents. I'm going to be using this leftover of one and uh, one whole one. So what I did I cut up with my miter saw one that is a six inches long and then two seven inches but with a uh, slanted line so like 22 degrees uh, line cut and now I'm going to go ahead and sand it. First I'm sanding the numbers on the roller because I didn't want them to show through uh, when I painted and then I am um, sanding off the edges. After everything was done, uh, I'm gonna start assembling it. So first I wanna attach one side to the base. I'm gonna use Gorilla wood glue in uh, addition to the hot glue because I wanted that long-term short-term short hold. And then um, I'm gonna assemble these two together. I'm gonna hold it a little bit while the uh, hot glue sets. And then I'm gonna add uh, a more hot, I um, mean, wood glue where two pieces meet just to fill up the cracks and then I'm going to do exactly the same thing with another piece but I will position it opposite way and you will see that in just a second so you see now I'm positioning it opposite way and I'm doing the same thing just adding uh, wood glue to fill up the cracks in between I'm going to leave this to dry completely and after it was dried this is how it looks like I'm going to go ahead now and get my um, Martha Stewart uh, chalk paint in a color clay and I will give it a full coat. I actually, I think I did maybe one full coat and touch up wherever it was needed to be touched up. After everything was completely dried, I'm going to uh, go ahead and take my Rust-Oleum chalk paint in a linen white color and chippy brush from the Dollar Tree and I will distress it. So I will dry brush it on the top of this gray and um, just lightly. I didn't want to do anything too heavy. I wanted uh, just to have a little contrast and I really like the way it turned out. So after this step, this is done. So this is my book holder and I really really like how this turned out. It is modern looking but because of the the stressing that I did it has that rustic feel and I think it it's just absolutely gorgeous. It cost me 50 cents maybe to make and I think it's just beautiful. It can be um, used this way as I'm showing you right now so when you have your book upright or I'm going to show you in just a second, you can lay your books down and uh, put them in between this way. So either way you want, I really like um, this idea and I really think it's so, so pretty again. But as always, I want to hear what do you guys think. Tell me what you think about this one. Would you change something? Would you use different color? I want to hear your opinions in the comments below. For all of you that are returning, I want to thank you so much for being here, for supporting me, for commenting my videos, liking them. I really, really appreciate you. And for all of you that are new, hi, my name is Yelena. I love crafting and doing DIY projects. Everything that I do is on a budget, very low budget, and mostly rustic and farmhouse style, but I do um, add some modern styles as, as well. And I really hope you enjoyed watching. Um, my project and if you do I would like for you to subscribe also visit me on uh, Instagram Pinterest or Facebook come and say hi I want to remind you that my regular upload times are uh, Tuesdays and Fridays at 10 a.m central standard time if there's any change uh, I'll usually try to let you know in advance in my community tab 
Let's go ahead and start with DIY number two. For this project, I'm going to be using a piece of scrap wood that I had in my garage. I really like this piece because it has those knots and imperfections that, that actually is perfect to me and my rustic style. First, I'm going to take my Rust-Oleum chalk paint in a linen white color and a little bit of water. And um, I'm going to just um, paint it, actually. Um, I wanted a whitewash. So I am applying one coat and then I'm wiping it off and I'm doing it again over and over until I am satisfied with um, the way it looks. And this is the level of um, whitewashing that I achieved. I was happy with that. And then when everything was completely dried, I took more um, white paint and a chippy brush and I just kind of uh, did few strokes. I wanted those lines to show through. Next, I'm going to take this Martha Stewart uh, gray chalk paint and I'm going to go ahead and distress this. So I started with the edges and I just pulled some lines or strokes here and there. There was no really any particular pattern. I just, um, you know, distress it where I thought it would look nice. And when I was done, this is how it looked like. Next thing, I'm going to take this um, handle door handle that i actually got on my on a yard sale a long time ago and i drilled the holes and then i'm gonna attach this with the screws after it was attached this is how it looks like and now i'm gonna take this tin can leftovers from a sauce and i am going to um, punch two holes with my crocodile i absolutely love this tool guys you have to have this and after that i'm gonna take um, the black, light gray, and a brown acrylic paint, as well as this white that I used earlier, and a chippy brush from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to start dabbing those paints on this tin. So I wanted to actually make it not so much galvanized, but like very old and rustic looking. So I started with the black one, then I went on with the light gray, and then I added a little bit of white. I'm going back with the black, just back and forth until I was happy with it. And at the end, I went and got the brown one and started dabbing on it. I really wanted it to look very, very old and rusty. And then when I was completely done with it and when I was happy the way it looks like and it was dry, this is how it turned out. I absolutely love it. It is exactly the way I envision it. So now I'm taking this um, piece of jute twine and I'm going to uh, pipe it through one hole and I'm going to tie double knot. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and take my wood piece that I created earlier and I will try to figure out where I want it to hang. So first I thought maybe I'm going to just push it through in between and I try that way. Then I said, okay, let me try to put it on top. That way I'll be able to take it off. Um, and then I went back to the middle and then I ended up landing to this option. I really liked how it looked like hanging from the bottom portion so like pipe it through the middle and then i tied uh, two knots again and i cut off the excess um, on the other side and then i went ahead and got some floral foam pieces that i had leftovers and i'm gonna i put them in and then i will have some um, boxwood picks branches and i will just start putting them in randomly and that's going to be it for this project. Guys, I I don't know. I absolutely love this project. I had this in my mind for a long time, but since we were not in a house, I did not have, you know, pieces of wood or everything that I wanted. Now I knew immediately I wanted to make this and I absolutely love it. It is so rustic. It is so me and it is just absolutely gorgeous. I really hope you like it. And if you do, please give this video a thumbs up. It means so much to me and also show me that you love this type of videos and show YouTube that you like it and it's going to promote it more. Also share it. Somebody might find it useful and helpful. Subscribe if you're new with the notification bell on to all. That way you will not miss any of my videos. I want to hear from you which one was your favorite. Was it number one or number two? And was there anything you would change in any of these and would you recreate it? I want to thank you guys for being here. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you in my next video next week. Bye guys.
you as you drive do you know i'm looking